okay let's focus on series of non-negative numbers okay so if this a n is a series of non-negative number each term is either zero or positive no okay so first observation we can make about this series is if you look at the partial sum it's increasing no monotonically increasing monotonically increasing okay therefore from the converge monotone convergence theorem this we can say this should converge or diverge to infinity we get the converge part if it's bounded then the monotone convergence theorem is there to say it's convergent no because this is increasing this otherwise because this is increasing it have to go to positive infinity no so in the divergence there are three cases oscillate or negative infinity but because this series is increasing monotonically increasing it cannot go to negative infinity or it won't oscillate okay so it only option is to go to infinity okay now let's let's go over a series of tests that applicable for positive um, non-negative series okay comparison tests okay so the first of these is called the direct comparison says okay if applicable if there are two series are here so that each term, term of a k is smaller than or equal to the b k and if e k is non-negative b k is also non-negative no so every term in a k is less than or equal to corresponding term of b k for all the case when this happens we tell b k dominates okay now in this test first thing in this test is if bk converge if this guy converge is forced to ak to also converge okay we cannot tell uh, which value only that both, both if bk converges also a k is converging okay then if a k is diverges this guy then he will go to I infinity because it's non-negative also b k will diverge to infinity okay because these are non-negative ones okay so so when you applying this test to a given series first it have to be non-negative then we should be able to compare it with a known series with or something easier to calculate the whether it's converge or diverge okay if this initial this condition holds for all the terms after a sum term then still this thing is true no because the tail part of the series is what determined its con uh, convergence finite terms what happened to the finite terms doesn't matter okay so let's say for example until term 100 i cannot get this inequality but if all the terms after 100 have this property is fine okay so as long as after some point series have this property then this theorem is still true okay so here we are asked to test the convergence of this con uh, series we can easily see this if we look at 1 over 2k is a geometric series we can we know how to come uh, discuss about the geometric uh, series so this one is close to a geometric series except for this uh, one okay when k goes to larger ones this one become negligible so we should be able to relate this to geometric series okay so easily we can see that if we drop if we drop this positive one denominator becomes smaller no so uh, smaller that means this 1 over 2k is larger bigger than 2k plus 1 okay 1 over 2k is bigger than uh, 1 over 2k plus 1 okay so we can have this for all the case okay now this 2k i 1 over 2k like i said is a geometric no because first term is half second is 1 over 4 the common ratio is 
half okay so this is geometric with common ratio half because common ratio is half this geometric series converges no now i know this guy converge so i can say this series also converge from the comparison test okay that's what is asked decide the convergence so we decide concluded that this is also converge okay let's look at another example we are asked to show that this series converges okay so here again this plus one when for very large values of k this plus one is negligible and say uh, for large values of k also this ne neg negative one is negligible compared to k squared no so the plus one is negligible compared to k negative one is negligible compared to k squared so for very large values k this will behave like k over k squared see that is 1 over k okay so 1 over k is the harmonic series and we know that is divergent okay so so if we can show the comparison test and we can show this is greater than 1 over a we can use the direct comparison test to and conclude this is divergent okay So we we'll start by observing this. Okay. Here I can drop plus one here that will make this smaller. No, I want to say this is bigger than one over k. So uh, with that intent, I drop plus one. This becomes smaller. No, because numerator becomes smaller. Then I can drop negative one. Then the denominator becomes larger okay but everything becomes small okay so this is uh, less than this guy if i drop minus one okay because numerator becomes bigger then the whole thing becomes smaller now i can cancel out k and simplify no okay so now i have this is true for all k no because we didn't put any restrictions on k okay and then this is harmonic series i know it's divergent no so we can say this is for all k the harmonic series diverge one over k so because of this from direct comparison test this one also diverges no okay now let's move on to another example okay here we are asked to test the convergence of this one again here plus 8 is negligible k compared to k and k plus 8 is negligible compared to k cube for large k's okay so this is like k over k cube but if we cancel out then it's like k behaves like 1 over k squared no so this guy behave like 1 over k squared for very large things and 1 over k squared is di convergent from the p-test no so it's convergent from p-test so if we can show this is less than 1 over k squared we can use the comparison test here also okay so we'll go for that so we start okay i can drop the k plus 8 in the denominator no then this becomes small so everything will become large okay so that means this is bigger than uh, this guy is bigger than the original one ok 
now I cannot drop this a because then denominator numerator becomes smaller what I can do I can put a plus k only when k bigger than 8 no if when k bigger than no, 8 this thing becomes further and um, bigger than k plus 8 okay so we have that condition there okay we have to we can drop k add the k and then cancel out and 2 over k k add and this only work for k bigger than 8 no for k bigger than 8 this k 2 k over squared is larger than k plus 8 this original guy okay now we know that this thing and then this series converge from p series step so we can conclude using the from the direct comparison set we can conclude that this is divergent okay uh, sorry convergent okay from the direct 